my name is Patrick, and my father's name is Samuimbira. Then myself and my father's name, we make one name now, Patrick Samuimbira. <laughs> I'm an arts administrator, um, the National Arts Council. Chairman. Um, hi, I'm not used to using one of these things. Um, my name is Namukolo, I'm a photographer. Uh, this is 2018, my first year as a full-time photographer. Before, I was just working on weekends or evenings at a full-time job, but now this is my full-time thing. Hi, my name is Krish. Um, I run a company called Disrupt Experiences, and on top of that, we also manage a few artists. I don't know if you know El Makuka, he's one of my clients. Hi, uh, my name is Biwe. Panda, or you can call me Sipo. My friends call me Sipo. Um, I'm a I'm a journalist by profession, but I've only practiced journalism for like I think two years, and I hated it. Um, <laughs> and that's how I branched off from journal from the newsroom. I went into TV production. I'm a TV producer. I create content for TV. Maybe you've seen some of the stuff that I've done on the Lady Magic. Um, Speaking as a government representative, the National Arts Council is a statutory body um, under the Ministry of Tourism and Arts, mandated actually to look into the development of the same industry we are discussing this evening. So I'm excited to be here uh, with this topic. If it was any other topic, I would have declined, so no, I can't discuss. <laughs> you know, um, first of all, probably we could also try and just try to understand what we mean when we say creative industry, where do we start from and where uh, we end. Uh, basically, uh, the gist of it or the foundation is basically the culture and the arts of the people of that particular community, of that particular nation. And uh, that we also talk about now within the art, we're talking about the creativity uh, that goes with the art. And then, uh, we may also want to know what are these arts we're talking about. So everything here, when I just look at the setup, I look at the way we are dressed, I look at the way we apply it, is it the foundation or something? All that is artistic. So art is actually an alley of a number of things, starting from architecture, even just this building itself. That's art. So we have, uh, the, this industry is rich, it has a wide variety of things where, you know, we can be able to generate resources out of it. Uh, we can talk about even advertising. Advertising is a great uh, opportunity of this same industry we are discussing, the creative industry. So you've got all these people under this umbrella. Like uh, to, uh, just yesterday, I was just uh, reading up like what uh, the industries are like, maybe just around Africa. And just uh, forgetting that Nigeria by itself has like a very large, um, let's say, what, very large consumer base. They, Nollywood produces around 50 movies per week. And this employs like at least maybe around 130 people per movie production. And it's the second largest uh, industry in the country after agriculture. So, it's, we, we can have that kind of potential here as well if we can formalize the creative industry, if we could create academies, if we could create places where people can actually learn and tap into their skills, if they can be given, be given scholarships to even go, whether it's inside or outside the country, to learn these new skills. And it's, uh, it's just, it's basically the sleeping giant within Zambia itself. 